Okay, I've, picked, I've cut out piece number one, which is the flower pot. And I, what I'm going to, and then here is the, uh, the fabric I've chosen for the little flower pot. So what I'm going to do is turn it on the back. And I'm going to take the glue stick. And I, this is where I like to use the, um, th another piece of, of paper or freezer paper or something to glue on so I don't get my board all messy. Is that I'm just going to apply the glue rather sparingly. You don't want to use a whole lot of glue to the back of your of the of the applique piece and apply and so you want to see the number and I'm going to apply that to the back of the applique piece. I'm then going to take an iron, a hot iron, and just press it down for a couple seconds and that's going to heat set that glue right in so that it doesn't come off or slip around. Okay, and now that I've I've got it glued down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about a scant or a little more than an eighth of an inch around the areas that have a single line and I'm going to cut it directly on the line where I see two lines together. So we'll cut it out. About like that. Okay, now that that's cut out, we're going to prepare it for turning. Okay, now I'm going to apply glue to the seam allowances on the edges that I have to turn. So I'm just going to just apply a little bit of glue right to the edges, not a whole lot. And I'm usually only going to do just about, maybe no more than two or three inches at a time, because you don't want that glue to dry up. Now if the piece is a straightaway, like you have here with very little curves and corners, you can just take your thumb and your finger and pinch them closed. When you come to the corner, this is sort of a 90 degree, I like to use, this is where they use the screwdriver. Is that it's got two ends, the chisel end, and then of course the just the edge end. Now I'm going to take the point of the screwdriver and I'm just going to flip it on its end, if you can See, I'm going to flip it in uh, up on its edge and then smoosh it down. So now that just cuts it down. Whenever you have a curve, you just do it kind of just a few centimeters apart until you get all the way to the other end. And I'll get this end. Now I'll glue this last edge. And pinch it closed. Let's see if I'm in the right spot. Here we go. To just pinch it closed. Now if you kind of mess it up like I just did there, all that glue is wet, you can take the edge of it and smooth it down and get that edge nice and straight or curved as it should be. When you're done, you just turn it over and give it a press to seal it down and you'll see at the top once I have them all I like to cut them all out at one time and then I have them all laid out in the order that they need to go on, on to the uh, background piece so the last piece I have to do is number 12 which is that heart shaped leaf so I'm going to show you that one's got sort of all the shapes that are a problem whenever you're doing needle turn applique it's got an inside curve an outside curve a very sharp point and an inside corner too and so a lot of times you, it's hard to do points and needle turn. Well, with this technique, you can get very, very sharp points very easily. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and make leaf number 12. Okay, the first thing I want to do is clip all the corners and the, also the curves. So you want to set the point of the, of the, of the uh, scissors right up to the edge. And you want to go ahead and clip right to the fat, to the, template piece. Okay, the same thing with the corners. You want to go ahead and cut directly into it. You want to keep your scissors 90 degrees to where you want to cut that way you'll get and you won't be tempted to overcut. And having the sharpest scissors is going to be the easiest. Okay, now we want to make sure that you sort of start on the straightest spot you can or if you have a double line start there. 
I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be going around counterclockwise. I'm going to start right in this corner, this edge right here, this little curve. So I'm going to apply a little bit of glue just to the, to the seam allowance. You don't need a whole lot. Don't put a lot of glue. That's going to be hard to, to uh, sew through. So we want to sort of scoop underneath. I can show it. Let me do it this way. Okay, I want to scoop underneath. I'm going to take this the screwdriver and I'm going to flip that on to the curve and just do it in slow little bits. Okay, when I come to the corner, I'm going to stop. I don't know if you can see this little triangle right here that's cur that's formed. So you want to reduce some of the bulk. So I'm going to pinch it right at the edge. Then I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to cut from the outside in and I'm going to cut this little bitty triangle away. See the little little piece? It's very, very small. Right there. I'm going to flatten it down. There's the field. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue. I'm going to take this screwdriver on the chisel edge and follow this line right here. Okay. Then I'm going to take the screwdriver and flip it over. Okay. Then I'm going to, again, I may have to chisel it again because if I unfollow that line of the applique piece. I'm going to apply a little more glue. And I'm going to follow it all the way down. Okay, and now that I'm coming to this curve, I'm going to apply the glue around. I usually, when I come on a curve, I'll only do that little part, just the curve part. And I'm going to take tiny little, make tiny little pleats as I follow that curve. They'll make little bitty pleats. Okay, and I can, you can turn it over and see if you see any little points. I see one little point and while the glue is wet you just sit there and push it until you get that point just exactly like you want it. Okay, now we're going to do this inside corner. So I'm going to apply some glue to the rest of it. I'm going to push the edge of the screwdriver in and flip it down. And that gives you that nice inside corner. Now I'm going to again take those tiny little pleats and I'm going to finish the piece. Yep, that came up. Pull it down. Okay, straighten it out. Then I will turn it over and heat set it down. And make it nice and smooth.